Alrighty. So as you see, pretty simple, just cut the pipe. I take some extra time to kind of deburr the inside and, and go on the outside and make it smoother, that way the plates slide on easier, that sort of thing. Now comes the easiest part, is measuring out 15 and a half inches on each side and putting the clamps on. And that's it, you've got an axle bar. You can take the extra step and take like a standard, take an Olympic bar and measure out the hand rings and put those on there. I don't bother to do that because uh, I don't want to expect axle bars to be marked for that. So I like to train personally without that and just figure out what's even based on where I'm grabbing. But if you want one from me, I can do that for you. It's no problem. Just let me know. So check out this last part then. That's all there is to it, guys. You just cut it, put your U-bolts on, that's it, nothing to it. Please, if you have any other ideas, let me know. I am actually working on a cheaper version of this that will also require no cutting. The only difference is the piping that I found to use, it's also galvanized, it's also Schedule 40, but the difference is it is instead of 1.9, it is 1.87 inches, so a 0 0.025 difference. You really won't notice that on your hands, but it may change the style of U-bolt, the size I have to buy. So when I get there, I will let you know. I'm gonna hopefully keep with a 1.1 and 7 eighths or 1.9 inch U-bolt because, I mean, it's really not that big a difference and you can crank down on these because luckily these are also galvanized really strong bolts and nuts. Only thing I would recommend doing, I didn't do it, but I have a feeling if you make your own one of these, you're gonna to wanna to either use two nuts on these U-bolts, that way reduce the chance of the vibration of you dropping the bar with them coming out, or you're gonna to wanna to put some lock nut on here to keep it from coming off, or buy nylon nuts that way vibration doesn't make this come off because I have a feeling eventually this will come off. I personally don't give a shit for myself because I can just grab my 15 wrench, tighten the bitches back down, no problem, and it's over. But if, when I sell these, I will, I do, ask what style you want, and then after that, it's your problem. I always recommend the nylon locking, lo locking nuts though because those are some of the best ones and they work the best. It. So you know what? Now you know how to make your own axle bar. And if you don't make your own axle bar, I understand it's a bit of work, but when you can just contact me to get your axle bar and you don't, then what's your excuse?